Uh, just take a look at this pool. Almost 360 degrees. Yep. Almost. The most amenities of any building yes. in Miami. In North America. In North America, wow. It does come with Bosch appliances. And the, and the pool is even in the shape of a palm tree. What's up everyone? So today I have the opportunity to tour Miami's luxurious Paramount Tower. This building is located in downtown Miami and it's been getting some pretty rave reviews. I've heard a lot of great things about this building but we're gonna go in and check it out. It's located on Northeast 1st Avenue between Northeast 8th Street and Northeast 9th Streets. And I'm joined here by three realtors who will show me around. We have Nina, Emily, and Daria. It's me, you guys. Hi, guys. How are you? <laughs> yeah. It's so much fun. Show you around. You ready? Yeah, yeah let's see this. Okay. Here we go. Some cool artwork here. Yeah, I love this guy. He's so cool. He's a local artist. So oh, cool. nice. Yeah. <laughs> I guess we'll find out how many floors are in this building. Yeah, well, all of the units are accessed by private elevators, so you have to know which elevator bank you're going to. This one is through elevator bank four, so you're going to go head up to the 32nd floor. Okay. Wow, yeah. I'm excited to see those. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. That's really the show stuff. I love the floor plans, they're all really large. I like the finishes, especially in the bathrooms and the kitchens. Um, but the main show stuff is the amenities for sure. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Look at this touch panel for the floor plan. There's 55 floors. <laughs> okay. Well, we're going up on a man. No, she should. Yes, there we go. Oh, there we are. Oh, wow. And sometimes I believe they decorate those with like the oh, they panels when like there's the games. Yeah, there's a game. Yeah. Heat game. Oh, yeah. that's yeah. nice. Yeah. So it's a different, different theme. Yeah. Exactly yeah. to the touch screen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And because we're right by the arena, a lot of times when there's a game, they'll do stuff for the games. Mm -hmm. And they also have a partnership with FTX where people can buy using crypto through FTX. So there's a lot of like collaboration oh, that's with cool. the arena and the, mm -hmm. the heat team. All right. So in true real estate adventure style, we should be finding the key behind the mirror. So. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's always a key. It's always very interesting to. Oh, wait. Yeah. Oh. Where's Emily's yeah. hat? There it is. <laughs> yeah. Emily's always the queen of keys. Whenever we have access to her, if there's a key, if there's a lockbox, Emily's got it. I will find the way in. Yeah. There it is. Right, What's that that just fell? Okay. Do we need it? No. Okay. Okay. So, we always know which one is the door because it has the door, the back entrance is the service Oh, wow. Exit. So, this so area there's is two open. doors on this entrance that we just got out of. And there's a private entrance area right here, so you can decorate this area if you want to, however you like, mm. um, before you actually enter into the condo unit. That's so nice. Welcome. Okay. Welcome. <laughs> this might be your new home. You never know. You never know. Life is full of twists and turns. So, so uh, tell us about this unit. Yeah. So this is the only line that has one bedroom that face the water. 
So that's the 05 one, and it's my favorite for one bedrooms. Again, there's no real one bedrooms in this building. They're all one plus den, 1,250 four square feet, the size of a two bedroom. So I love that. Everything's generous, everything's large. You have your own laundry room instead of a stackable washer and dryer in a closet. It really feels like a home. Okay. There's just so much light in this unit. I can't yeah. believe it. Yeah, so there's a lot of sleep. Yeah, they made it over the like the Wow. Take a look at this. This is the kitchen and dining room. It has a garbage disposal, we know that. We found that. Bosch appliances are very high end. I love how the, there's no like traditional hood. You actually have a vent that comes up from the countertop, which makes everything large and open but you still you know, those that love to cook, it's super functional. Yeah. We have all of your hidden appliances, and again, lots of space. So this actually has its own pantry, whereas a lot of condos don't have a pantry. You just see that in bigger homes. So it's like a luxury home in the sky with amenities that no mansion will ever compete with. This is unbelievable. Just the entrance way and the way it leads into the kitchen. The floor plans are yes. really well designed. Really, really well designed. That's one of the things, and Emily and I talk about this all the time, as realtors, we are very picky about floor plans because they change how you live. They really change the functionality of a place and how it looks. So yeah. we're very picky about that. And this is one building where they've done it right. A lot of buildings, especially in Brickell, the floor plans are way too small. You can't even get a king size bed in your master bedroom, things like that, which we just make our own owner. Here, which you've done beautifully. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. So come on out and check out the, the view and the master suite. Mm -hmm. Speaking of those, so love the wall design. Look at this. Really cool and this unit is actually up and fully finished, so that's nice. Everything that you see comes with the unit. Yeah, that's not that's not uh, quite common, right? To it's have everything common, no. furnished. But a lot of my clients really love it, so I, I do tend to sell a lot of units that are like that, even though they're not as common. They they work a lot in my life. And now I think this is what a lot of people are this looking forward to. Yeah, it's it's the Miami challenge. living as far as you know that view, that high floor that want to see the water because that's why you're here, right? Yeah. I can see why this is your favorite line. Yep. So it's beautiful. You have a lot of interest with what you see. Of course, the Ferris wheel lights up at night. You have the Port of Miami, which also lights up at night. You see through the South Beach. It's so nice. Yeah. Yeah, you see Bayside Marketplace there, the Freedom Tower. Yeah. That's oh, the Miami Heat too. Arena. Yeah. Uh -huh. Right. Yep. So we're right. There. Yeah, you're right there for if the anyone, games. And there are actually a lot of athletes, oh. including, um, you know, of course, basketball players that live in the building. Mm -hmm. uh, some of them have bought penthouses and moved their families in. Some of them are, you know, some, some a little more young and single and just kind of like here for a little while. Because, of course, those guys get moved around. But um, it's just a very sought after building for athletes for sure. Let's take a moment to look at this view. Look down. And yeah, of course. Yeah, so this is oh, this is all building. part of the building. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is the main the pool deck. And the yeah, and the pool is even in the shape of a palm tree. Yeah, it actually has really yeah. Vegas Dubai vibes. It um, does. It's one of the things that I like about the building because Vegas is my other favorite city in the world. So I really enjoy that they brought that flavor to the building, the spine of the building, which we actually see right here on our right hand side. That, as well as the glass, becomes an actual LED light show at night, so very Las Vegas. Oh, that's right. I've seen this building light up at yeah. night. So, for example, they did Emilio Estefan's birthday, so Gloria Estefan's husband. They did his birthday here, and they actually put a picture of his face on the, the spine of the building and said, Happy birthday, Emilio. Of course, had a ton of celebrities in to celebrate with him. So things like that that you just don't see anywhere else in this city. Wow. So it's much more than a, a standard residential so we'll get to uh, see the pool later on, but I noticed that there's three big pools there. And then you see the entire north side of downtown here, the arts and entertainment districts. You get to see, uh, I think that's Midtown Miami in the distance too. That's right, Midtown Miami. You see uh, Interstate 395. Looks like there's tennis courts down there, but... This uh, building's remarkable. Yeah, yeah. 
So uh, from my understanding, this building is part of a larger complex called the Miami World Center, right? Correct. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. It is the, the only residential tower that's condo so that you can purchase in it. There are residential towers that are rental only, but this is the main sort of hub of like living in Miami um, World Center, which has very mixed use. So there are restaurants, um, shops, there is um, going to be a convention center and a hotel, it's going to be incorporated um, a short-term rental but wellness building. So that one you actually can buy into when it's done. So that's going to be very interesting. A lot of people will be going there to recover from plastic surgery, things of that nature. That's very <laughs> Miami. <laughs> um, so things that are very characteristic of the city. So we're excited for all of that to be done so the residents in the area can just go downstairs directly through their private elevator into the mall area, which will be very similar to a Brickell City Center across a little bit of like outdoor Lincoln Road, completely open, sort of enjoying the good weather, being able to shop and dine and have fun. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that's a, a really exciting part of this complex as well, for sure. Yeah. yeah, I'm so excited. I go outside, I see everything developing. Yeah. Hopefully yeah. in the next, you know, three years, four years, it'll be finished, oh, yeah. right? Yeah. I think even sooner than that. Sooner I mean, than, we, than that? Yeah, we would anticipate that it would be two years before everything's done and the actual leases are signed for the restaurant and retail space, the fit outs are done and the, and the stores are open. So yeah. Oh, I wow. Think really uh, pretty soon mm -hmm. and time goes by quickly so yeah i mean we've, we've had a lot of crazy changes in the last two years we're looking forward to some really good changes in the next two years so that should pass quickly and we'll be able to have fun here for sure as it stands now there are some restaurants that are walkable in the buildings right in front of us that you have pointed out so each one of these does have um restaurants coffee shops and things of that nature that you can actually just walk a block to access but of course we're all waiting for you know the biggest stuff to get done as well mm -hmm. All right, okay, let's, let's see go. the rest of this unit. For sure, no doubt. You know, you have very, very tall ceilings as well. I mean, I would say what? They're ten. Ten, ten? okay. Yeah. Ten foot ceilings They're in ten here. Ten foot ceilings, and that's standard throughout the building. Mm -hmm. So it's. And you have access to the balcony through here as well. Oh, that's good. Yeah. You know, like. Does the TV come with the uh, unit? It does. Yes. That's good. <laughs> Every single thing that you see comes, even the linens, which are beautiful. Oh wow. Fendi linens. Very expensive. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, and they've done, you know, custom window treatments. No expense has been spared. This is actually a very good value. It's offered at nine hundred ninety nine thousand, which, for what's effectively a two bedroom with a water view in this kind of building, which is very new, very ultra high end, and fully furnished, is a really great deal. Mm hmm. Totally. Always nice to get a good deal too. Yep. <laughs> So you have Gorgeous. some storage space here? Yeah, yeah. this is the, this is oh. the main walk-in closet. Let's start from okay. here. It's huge. Oh, yes. Which is rare too. You could fit everything in here nice. if you wanted to. Yeah, it's good for two people. Here's the herb. You fit all three of us in here easily yeah. if you wanted to. <laughs> yeah, or four of us. Oh, yeah. Can't leave it. Can't leave one without. And there's yeah. the next which is good too, so you don't mix it up together with the clothes. So you that's can, good, yeah. And store it in here. Mm -hmm. All the suitcases can go mm -hmm. in there, and it's super like closed and covered. And one thing I like about the bathroom is they also have a lot of storage. So you have this area that you can also use. Oh like my they gosh. Have for, for towels. For us women that have a lot of makeup and hair products mm -hmm. and things like that, these totally again are very rare to find and are lifesavers for us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then you also have all of the drawers and cabinets built into the vanity so very generous oh they put a scale here too well you know it's <laughs> miami <laughs> <laughs> so you have this gorgeous deep soaker tub i like a lot of the little details like there's a little nook there to put your candles or your glass of wine as you're soaking that's cool and they yep. took the tile all the way up to the ceiling well your food some people eat in yeah. the bathroom do they really yeah sometimes yeah. they do <laughs> some people take like a ipad yeah, oh, yeah. They do. Like, like, a lot of times. <laughs> yeah, a lot of times. <laughs> yeah. Like, I can yeah. imagine, yeah, that Sweet doesn't sound there. like a good situation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's yeah. together, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. big. It's mm -hmm. really big. Yeah. 
So it's a great size. I like that there's lighting What's this door? Here, and then you have natural light. There's more storage now? It's oh, the oh. it's the throne. It's the throne. It's the throne. Yeah, I was wondering where it was. And obviously, you know, we like to have a little privacy, especially if there's a, you know, yep. a couple here. It's good to The fan just serves the, the toilet, which is good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then you have a separate one for the shower. Oh, here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So very practical as well as beautiful. Very nice. Mm -hmm. the color. The it's, not just, it's not just marble. And there's two it has sinks. Little, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yep. Two sinks in the door vanity, lots of, again, drawers and cupboard space. So everything can be neatly hidden away. Mm -hmm. And you can just keep the sleek look of the bathroom pristine, which is gorgeous. Because sometimes you have a beautiful bathroom, but if there's no way to put things, exactly. then it can kind of defeat a little bit like that clean modern look because you just have stuff everywhere. You don't even need anything on the counter. You could stick everything in the, yep. the linen yeah, closet the, if you yeah, wanted to. Storage. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go through and see the Okay. Rest There's more storage space than you'd ever need here, it feels yeah. like. And they actually have storage lockers in the building as well for those who um, want to purchase them or rent them. So you have a nice bar stool area. Oh, I didn't see here. This sit, side, yep. Sit at the, the table eat. Mm -hmm. And then you have your, here, set it up as a second bedroom and actually put it in a closed door. So it's like a fully functioning second bedroom. Yeah. With its own. Or even work from home space. space. Yeah, mm -hmm. a lot of people do use For the second sure. room as an office. But you mm -hmm. could use flex, so you could put a desk right here if you wanted to. And keep the bed. I mean, this is a very large. It's so nice. Yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty sure a king size bed. Yeah. Yeah, it looks yeah, like it. Is. And the other thing. Does this bed come with a unit too? It does. Wow. Yeah. And Everything it's being else. sold as a one bedroom. Yeah. It's wow. Actually, mm -hmm. Which is technically correct. That's the way it the is, developer yeah. um, created it. Plus, in Florida, some states are different. Actually, um, I used to work in Nevada as well and be licensed there, and there it is different. But here in Florida, technically, in order to be a two-bedroom, you actually have to have a window in the second bedroom. Oh, okay, so there's no windows here. There's no windows. So that, but for most it's people, it really doesn't matter. If, if, as you can see from this guess. part of the room, you look out to a beautiful view. You don't feel enclosed mm -hmm. or without any sort of That's true. natural mm -hmm. light or, you know, mm -hmm. it's not sort of a deep, dark, hidden room in the back <laughs> of the home. But yeah, technically, it doesn't qualify as a bedroom for that reason. So okay. they, they have done it correctly. Some people... We'll market it as a two-bedroom, even though technically it's not. But for all intents and purposes, it really is. It has the square footage, it has the functionality, it has everything you need. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the second bedroom, I mean, the uh, bathroom, which I took second a sneak peek bathroom. of. Mm -hmm. yeah. Which again, you know, taking the tile all the way up to the ceiling, which is also really nice out of detail, a deep tub that's in there. Yeah, this is a more of like a traditional restroom compared to the other one right. where you have uh, under the sink storage and the towel bar is in the shower. Oh, there's one over here too. Yeah, yeah. I think that one's probably meant more for like your um, loofahs and things like that to hang them. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, they just sort of for aesthetics, I think, put the towels in there, which yep. looks pretty. So yeah, the unit yeah. does come with everything, including the towels. You don't have to. So really, nice. Yeah. Just like people say, bring it's a just brush. move in. <laughs> yep. Move in, bring all your, you know, yeah. supplies bring and everything. Clothes. Yeah, bring your supplies and you're good to go. So, it does come with Bosch appliances. Yeah, this um, is a microwave it. and what is this oven? Confectional oven. Yep, an oven. So it's a double oven for okay. those people that like to cook. Not me, particularly. I know you like to cook those. Yeah. <laughs> you have a very large fridge and then two freezer spots. Oh, two freezers. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sub-zero fridge, so it's huge. Nice. Yeah. These are the best German appliances, so everything is done really, really And well. I even saw on the top there, there's like, mm -hmm. oh, this fridge is hard <laughs> to open. <laughs> oh. It's a little extra. What, little what is that, a cupboard? Or? More storage space. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, I see. It's not connected to the fridge no, because no, it's sealed it's here. Part of the building. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. That's cool. Yeah. And then you have a very large sink. Mm -hmm. Sometimes sinks they're you know very small or you can't work with, but this one, you can wash everything with it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
So we know you love to cook. What do you think of the kitchen? It's so nice. Is it chef yeah. approved? Yeah. I don't, know, so I don't really know. It's <laughs> great. Really yeah. Power outlets here. Let's see. Yep. yep on the side. Mm -hmm. So you can plug in stuff, you know. Like, a, like cooking really appliances yeah. that I don't use. Yeah. That's does great. it have a dishwasher? It does. Yeah, Where's the dishwasher? dishwasher? Oh, look at that. You can't even tell. So all the ultra luxury buildings in Miami do have hidden appliances like these. So it's mm -hmm. a, a sign that you're looking at not just a luxury building, but an ultra luxury building. Yeah, just like the fridge. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. And then this is sink storage. Mm -hmm. well, they even gave us cleaning products. Yeah. <laughs> That's nice. You got to make life easy sometimes, yeah. right? Life can be hard otherwise. <laughs> Another detail too, just touching or echoing Nina's um, comment about luxury is that they took this and ran this all the way back behind the slab or put the slab back behind here right. and they ran it all the way up. That's something else that you find in luxury buildings is that they're, they didn't chop it up at all and they took an actual full piece yes. of, of natural stone. Of natural mm -hmm. stone. Yeah. So that's much more expensive than just little tiles. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then they added the under cabinet the lighting, lighting mm -hmm. which is also a really nice feature. That's so nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, and you have the track lights here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they have kind of simple lighting. If you wanted something more dramatic, obviously you can switch it out for a chandelier in the, the living room because you do have the higher ceilings here. Mm -hmm. And some people like to have a dining room in this space. I'm oh, sorry, dining table. And then the chandelier over the top. Mm -hmm. So lots of options on how you can use the space. And what's over here? Is this a... A little fire. Is it a fire? That's what I was going to say. I was like, wow. Yeah, there's a power barn and yeah, maybe you hold it. I don't know. I don't know. Well, I'm assuming it works. Yeah, it's <laughs> very new, so yeah, I think so. And then there's like the integrated um, sound bar into the cabinetry, so mm -hmm. you should get some good surround sound when you're watching movies. The it's so going. nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a little interest that night for sure. Mm -hmm. So, this is the one bedroom. Mm -hmm. You ready to see the amenities? Let's see it. Okay. This unit absolutely blew me away. <laughs> oh, I didn't see this over here. Is this another closet? Oh, that's the AC. Yeah, HVAC handler. Okay. Yeah. Well, you need it. You need it. Without it, you, yeah, it's not gonna. <laughs> and the washer and dryer room. I didn't see this. Electrolux uh, appliances. Very top of the line. This is the most amenities of any building yes. in Miami. In North America. In North America, wow. Yeah, so it's the only buildings that have more that I can think of off the top of my head are in Dubai. Um, in other countries, I'm not, nothing, nothing springs to mind, probably Singapore. Yeah. yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Um, Shanghai, perhaps, as well. But yeah, for North America, this outdoes every other building. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty mm -hmm. fun. It's a great lifestyle. And they actually have. Above and beyond just the structures themselves, they have a lifestyle director who you can go to like a concierge if you want tickets to something, if you want to, you know, if you're going to be out of town for a while and you want someone to make sure that you have groceries ready when you come back. There are just so many things that they um, will assist with. So, I'm not sure if that's... Yeah. yeah. It has to be the top. It's just we have, to take, we have to take an elevator to another elevator to get oh. there. So it's a little, it's not quite as straightforward as, <laughs> as it seems. But, um, but yeah, they actually 
staff the building as well so that you have that assistance with all the things that you want to do. If you want to charter a boat, they'll do it for you. If you want to, you know, like I said, get tickets to a game or to an event or um, have a, a limo rental for you and your friends to take you there, they take care of all of that instead of it just being um, up to you. Thanks. Instead of it just being the actual, you know, building what it has, there's someone there to help, kind of help you enjoy all of the opportunities that it offers. <laughs> Oh, so this is. Yeah, you can. If you don't know where you're going, so let's hold on to that. Yeah. <laughs> so here's here's one of the lounge areas that you know you can rent out if you want to have any kind of party. Um, you know, it's a beautiful view. Um, and then you can also take a bath and make a back. Sure. So we're gonna start from the top and then move down. Yeah. Yep. So it's really nice. Yeah. 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 Right in the building. But yeah, definitely seen people set up for a lot of beautiful parties. There's so much space you can have, of course, your bartender behind the bar and catering and all that good stuff. I see what you mean taking another elevator. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Does this go all the way around the building? This just this part. Okay. Yeah, it does. It, there's a door to um, the lounge on the left, which is an outdoor lounge that they're finishing that has an additional pool. Um, but on the right, there's nothing that it. Oh, I just to. missed that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that it looks like a golf course. They're still, as you can see, they're still working on that a little bit. That's going to be another outdoor lounge area with a bar. So it's the final part of this building that they're completing. Oh, here we are. Oh, a bit more. Oh, wait. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, we were in between floors. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so fun fact, Emily's afraid of heights. So <laughs> Emily afraid. Okay. <laughs> Hi. Okay, <laughs> so, uh, I'll take some. Thank you. We're at the very top of the building now. We made it to the top. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. So it's just the swimming pool up here. There is actually in this area there are restrooms, but this area has this blue thing because it's actually mm -hmm. intended for stargazing. So the blue mm. does. Okay. Um, and there's. Also, which they do secure. So if you want to use it, you just have to ask the concierge to unlock it. Mm -hmm. Look at this unique couch. Made for stargazing. So, the, those are the two areas of the pool and the stargazing lounge. And the tile actually mimics. Oh, that. yes, I see that. So, it looks very much like a Disney space ride kind of like yeah. decor theme. So, it's a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. And they do sometimes do events here where the building will, like, you know, have champagne and things like that. And mm -hmm. they'll, have, you know, when it, there's going to be like an eclipse or something like that, then they'll mm -hmm. have the telescope set up and have a bunch of people come That's over. so cool. Yeah. All right. Time to go to uh, the rooftop pool now. As if we didn't see enough pools in the building from the from the other studio. I mean the one bedroom. There we go. <laughs> my favorite view of Miami ever. Why? Because people like me who love sunsets and are obsessed with sunsets, which is not very popular in Miami. Everyone here is here for the water view. I'm here for the view over on this side when the sun sets <laughs> and it fills this whole space. And then the lights come on in Brickell at night as the sun is setting and it's just incredible. Wow, just take a look at this pool. Almost 360 degrees. Yep. Almost. And here's it's the, the view. You see out to the Atlantic over South Beach, so you don't just see bay, you see ocean as well. So mm -hmm. that's very unique too. Then you see uh, that way. Mm -hmm. You can see everything from here. Almost 360. Building right here, 
that's the black one with the interesting spine on it. Yep. That is um, by the late uh, famed architect named Zaha Hadid, who is literally considered to be the predominant you know, architect in the world. And if you look at the very top and you see that structure, it's actually a helipad. So folks that live in the building don't just have the opportunity to use the beach club, which is right by Nikki Beach, and have a car take them there from the building. If they want to drink, they don't need to worry about that. They also have the opportunity to ask the concierge to bring the helicopter to take them to the Bahamas or the Keys or, you know, wherever they want to go close by. That's something else. Wow. Aston Martin. Right, Aston Martin. You see the round tower at the top. It's the same thing on that building right there. Yeah, I see the helipad there. Yeah. So if traffic's too much for you, you can just call the pl the helicopter to pick you up. That's the port of Miami down there. The downtown core of Miami in front of me along with Brickell. And then you see the western side of Miami. There's the baseball stadium, Lone Depot Park, Little Havana, over to the west. So what else is in this building now? Uh, we're just getting started. We're really, literally just getting started. started. I know. At this point, I'm expecting someone to come out and cook for us. That's probably that's probably what comes in the building. A robot that cooks for us. There's no jets in robot. I can see why people want to live here. It's true. Yeah. A lot of them. So I get to see the lounge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm able to step in there and show you the lounge really quickly. Mm -hmm. And then the main pool deck. Yeah. With the cabanas. Yes. You can also buy cabanas. Yeah. Yes. The oh. cabanas are 300. They're beautiful, yeah, I believe it's 300 if you want to. But it's big. Yeah, it's basically. Okay. And here we are at the main lounge. There is so much space in this lounge. I'm at a loss for words, really. And then there's a patio lounge back here. I wonder how many lounges there are total in this building. I don't, there are so many lounge spaces. I'm going to be able to see some of them. As we said, some of them are yeah. still being finished. But there are 
at least three no, full main lounge areas. So this is one of them. Two of them are on the seventh floor main amenities deck, and then the other one is the one that's being completed. But I believe there are actually two of those, so I'm probably underestimating the total. I apologize. There's so much here to get to know. There's and so much here. Still, and, and as I said, we're still waiting for it to be finished, so more mm -hmm. to come. <laughs> what are some things that you find to be most interesting in amenities? Like, what do you use, or are you more like uh, interested? I'm, I'm interested in seeing the gym and yeah. the swimming pools. The gym is amazing. It has a boxing ring. Okay, yeah. that's something you don't see in many other gyms of boxing no. ring. You need a lot of space for that. Yeah. Exactly. There's so much space in this building. It's mm -hmm. yeah. really incredible. Yeah. It really is like almost like a, a town. It's, a, it's, it's like its own inside city of, inside of the building. It's a great because you literally could never leave if you wanted to. You have access mm -hmm. to food or to entertainment, entertainment fitness, fitness, wellness, relaxation, yeah. mm -hmm. office area. You yeah. need that. Yeah. That's a very good point. Yeah, it was kind of everything. Mm -hmm. I think that sounds great. Let's just yeah. stay here and talk. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'd be ready for that. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I do have friends and clients that are in the building, so whenever I come to visit them, it's always a lot of fun. And I'm always a little jealous. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it does make you feel like you're on vacation a little bit. Yeah, it does, especially yeah. Especially the pool area. Which is great. It kind of goes with the whole Miami lifestyle. We do have to work hard being here like anywhere else, but mm -hmm. we get to do it in an environment where we feel like we're on vacation and we're relaxing and there's yeah. different energy. So, I mean, have you noticed that since I've before? noticed that, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. big difference, right? Because a lot of people will want that, all that relaxation and yeah. everything. I wonder which building here started like the whole trend of putting all the amenities inside the building. And it's a good question. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure where it all started. It's been this way for so yeah, long. Yeah, it's just been building on right. each other, but that's a good point. All buildings don't have that. Mm -hmm. So when did that like shift happen? Yeah. You know, it's yeah. kind of like competition now. It so really we is. all want to like beat each other, so yeah. it's good for mm -hmm. us because we have like totally. way more beautiful buildings. As real <laughs> it's incredible. Our job becomes more and more interesting and fun. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. Yeah. Because yeah. many cities throughout the U.S., like, they don't have Tons of these amenities as part of like the, you know, standard living. the standard, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's very true. Mm -hmm. I think we take it for granted probably a little bit yeah. in Miami already, but yeah. I've traveled, you know, like LA, New York, Chicago, they don't have crazy oh, wow. amenities in their buildings. Interesting, you know? even in LA, huh? Yeah. Wow. Because they're very lifestyle focused there too, so mm -hmm. interesting. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think too, like our um, high rise lifestyle is very well developed mm -hmm. whereas other cities they do a lot more single family for residential which is obviously a different thing so yeah. because we have that here I think it feeds off each other with different developers mm -hmm. doing different things mm -hmm. this is us? Mm -hmm. okay alright okay. so I don't know where do you want to start? <laughs> uh, let's go this way because okay. we're already going right. this way Look at this. It's incredible, right? It's just so This is like you can I've seen a lot of people work here, like pull out their laptops, there's free Wi Fi of course throughout. It smells good, it feels good. It's so nice. That's yeah. what I was about to say. It says it smells like a I don't know, like a a field with tons of flowers <laughs> blooming all over the place. Yeah. So if you have to pull out your laptop and work somewhere, to do it in such a soothing environment, you just can't get stressed out, you know. Yeah. It smells like lavender, I feel like. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let's go out to the main pool deck from here. Let me come yeah. back inside and see the rest of what this uh, floor is. Misha Light. 
Is that an art gallery back there? Um, there are some art installations, but it's not a gallery formally. But they do have a lot of, um, like they do an event throughout Basel. Uh -huh. There's a lot of collaboration with artists in the area. As, as we saw, a lot of great art pieces displayed mm -hmm. throughout the building. And now we're going over a sky bridge, connecting two different sections of the yeah, Paramount Tower. Oh, I see. The is on top of the garage, which is super smart, so they use it smartly. Yeah. It's like the whole separate building. Yeah, just for the parking. Which also gives you, again, more space. Like, you walk, you know, because mm -hmm. I like to walk. Yeah. And a lot of people do, you know. It's not just like you walk in the building. You have access a lot of walking area. And, you know, you can be outside in all this area, you see. Yep. Building. And here you can they see the back side of the building. Um, the villas, I think it's only a small collection of like So now this is the main pool deck with the three swimming pools that we saw. And you see everything is called access, so it's super secure. Um, so it's just for residents only. This is something else. It's like I'm on a tropical island. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Inside, cook, sleep, rest a little bit. They have purchase as well, yeah. They have their own restroom, their own little um, kitchen. So if you want to put your drinks and food in there, a private rooftop if you actually want to sort of lay out and tan there instead of with everybody else <laughs> down here. Um, they're really beautiful. But it's also not super crowded, so you feel comfortable, you know, you mm -hmm. feel private here. You mm -hmm. feel special, yeah. like super luxurious. Yep, absolutely. Style. Yeah. Is there a hot tub in this uh, area? There's actually not a hot tub. There are reflection pools, but they're not heated. So they're uh -huh. not in Miami now, it's kind of uncommon to have. I mean, a mm -hmm. lot of buildings still do have them, but not all because of the, the weather people have. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, indicated that they weren't really using them. So. Mm -hmm. And it would make sense to have them more in your unit where it's exactly. cool. Exactly, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Look at this, it's like these are floating on the water, these cabanas. And I like how they're covered too, so you can let in the sun and not if you want to. Here's a barbecue and a table. You actually feel like you're in a high-end restaurant, like in Tulum or something, where you're outside eating. Yeah. So, really well conceived um, outdoor and indoor spaces. There's a children's playground that's outside. They have the indoor. Playground. Well, they thought of everything. Yeah. Even the children's playground. My daughter loves coming here and hanging out in all the kids' areas. They're actually mm -hmm. really, you know, kid approved. Yeah. Is there it's a children's swimming pool? Look at it. No, but because it's zero entry in the main pool. It actually oh. is very kid friendly. You know, it has a very sort of long, shallow entry, so it works very, very well. For oh, them. yeah, I saw that, yeah. so that works. Yeah, it does. And plus, you can supervise the children that way while you're Correct. using the pool. Correct, yep. Yeah, so here's the playground area. Very nice. I also lo love that they have that play surface so the kids can't get injured as much if they fall. Uh, 
All right. here to unlock them for you and then over here as you can see it really has this beautiful overhang it really looks like you're in a, a gorgeous restaurant. restaurant it really does you can totally get lost in this building yes you can you definitely can you need to have guides like us yeah <laughs> For real, I mean, you could say, hey, meet me at the lounge. Right, and it's and like, which one? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm at the pool now, but which one which is one? it? <laughs> I'm at the kitty one. Right. <laughs> so we actually, um, as we were talking about, we're going to be seeing a two-bedroom unit as well. So we need to pop down really quickly to the lobby to get connected with um, the sales agent that's going to show us that. OK. Come back to 7 and see the rest of the amenities. All right. And there is actually another level of amenities even below that with a half deck basketball court. So it's, it just goes on and on and on. And uh, when did this building open up? Do you know? It opened in um, 2019 in about the, I want to say it was either June or July of 2019 that they got the certificate of occupancy. So, you know, during COVID, you know, 2020 was not very full because of everything that was going on. So it kind of had a slow start as far as, as, far as getting to be fully occupied and it's still not fully occupied. They're still selling units, some of which have never been lived in before. So it's a very mm. new building. No pets allowed on the deck. On the building. Yep. Which makes sense. Yeah. Most but I'm assuming. Yeah. I'm assuming it's a very pet friendly building. It is. It is. Yep. It's pet friendly for um, owners and for tenants. And a lot of the owners do have, um, well, a lot of the residents have pets. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As I'm sure you've noticed in Miami a lot of people have pets, yeah, right? Yeah. So many. Very, very popular. And then what's over here? So okay. We can take a quick peek at that, but we do need to head downstairs. Yeah, sure. So these villas are like little homes um, that are set into the structure. It's a very interesting setup where they have their own little, they're like little townhomes, but in mm -hmm. a condo setting. So it's very, very unusual. That's so cool. Really? Yeah, they'll be incredible. All right. Nice. These villas are ultra exclusive. I'm so excited to see this. Okay. Cool. I just came back from the gym. All right. Are you Greek? Greek? Yeah. Because I'm like, oh, okay. I was Greek, so I was like, I didn't know. Oh, you are? Yeah, yeah. So this is like an ultra exclusive. We like it today. We like it today. I know. It's so lucky. Wow. Okay. Thank you so much. Wow. Thank you. Yeah. Would you like us to take our shoes off? The upstairs is a little dirty, so I'm going to put it on the chair. All right, thank you. We got a little fun last night. We got all the party. Wow. We just got, I got some chandeliers in. The stairs just got done. The stairs are incredible. The stairs are incredible. The stairs are incredible. The stairs are incredible. This is unbelievable. Is it 13 foot ceilings here? Yeah, that looks like 18. It looks taller. Yeah. Watch your step. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Wow. This is so cool. There's not many places in Miami that get that home feeling. Right. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. all, you know, apartments, which yeah. is fine, but yeah. I saw this. Yeah. 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 And then, I'll show you upstairs. Yeah. Let me show you the rooftop. It actually reminds me of like Bali, Thailand, by oh, yeah. Like the Vila. Yeah. Kind of like Cancun, yeah. yeah. too. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
forgot the door. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I have a big YouTube channel, so I won't, they're giving me a tour of the building, and I'm making a video about it. Yeah. It's Action Kid. Action Kid. Yeah. Go and check me out. Yeah. Uh, I watch YouTube. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna watch it. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you. All right, see you, man. Thank you. Wow, so now we know what a villa looks like. It's our lucky day. Yeah. Uh, it's okay. Okay, let's go. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a lock here? Oh, there we go. <laughs> She knows all everywhere. This way? Totally. They even need to tell you where the restrooms are. All the signs are. <laughs> uh oh. Okay, well, no, we can go up the ramp here, it looks yeah. like it, we can? Okay. it connects. Oh, I thought that was a ramp. <laughs> oh. Is it? Yeah. Let's see. That's very romantic, actually. Yeah, it's a hot tub. Look at that. Super private. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's beautiful. Yeah, that's so I, nice. Yeah. Well, now we know there's a hot tub here. It is, yeah. And it's very tucked away. Yeah. See, we're learning things we never knew. I know. Yeah. Exclusive hot tub. <laughs> Teamwork. Yep. Thank you. So this will save you time when you go to show uh, a listing in this place, yeah. because Absolutely. it takes it takes oh, almost yeah. a whole day just to show yeah. everything. Now we have everything. the whole tutorial. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that. that. Yeah. You make our lives easier. Okay. Finally, Day. AC. Yeah, <laughs> it's humid in Miami. Yeah. 
Oh, the little kids. Let's take a look really quick. Children's playroom. And the fitness center with a boxing gym in the middle. I just saw the, uh, the gym and the children's center. Yeah. If you show this place, you need all three of you to show it. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're not one lying. person. What, what ends up on the editing room floor? <laughs> Are we moving? Yeah. We should be. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm glad we're not. We're moving in. <laughs> yeah. I was saying, if you need to show this place, you'll take care of the apartment. Yeah. She'll take care of like one floor of amenities. Yeah, and then, yeah. yeah. Exactly. <laughs> totally. For sure. <laughs> okay. Off to you. All right. Okay. And again, it's a two bedroom plus den, so it's like a three bedroom. It's over 1,500 square feet. That's huge. Two bedroom. Yeah. Plus a den. Plus the den. And three full baths. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a lot of art. Yeah. It's a lot of artwork. And this is a huge apartment, over 1,500 square feet. spending a lot of time between South America and Germany. Oh, okay. So he's not coming to Miami for as much. he used to before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Mm -hmm. oh, around, yeah, right? show me around and yeah. talk about oh, the different the rooms. Really yeah. yeah. Okay, so the master is on this side, on your left side. Okay. Yeah. How tall are these ceilings? 18 no, feet? These are, these are Nine. Nine? Yeah. Wow. You have um, high ceilings when you, as, as you go up uh -huh. to the lower penthouses, then you have higher ceilings. Yeah, wow. Okay, so it here. looks much taller. Yeah. So this and is a, a closet space. Walk in closet. A lot of closet space. There's another one here behind you, too. Okay. Bottom double sink, very shower, nice. The top, and then you have the toilet is here. Wow, and you have a little space there to store stuff if you need to. Right, yeah. yeah. I would, you know, nobody uses the top here, so I would remove the top and make something, something here like a closet space or. Oh yeah, you can do that too. Right. Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. For sure. And then the, the toilets in here. This is so nice. Oh, be careful there. Yeah. yeah. And it comes fully furnished. The art is not included. Of course. Mm -hmm, of course. <laughs> that that alone will probably be yeah. a lot of money. So gorgeous, you and see, right? And that's why right? it's beautiful here. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. 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 I love that the, um, the balconies are so nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the balconies are so deep and they're not narrow, so they become additional living spaces instead of just being somewhere to stand. For sure. Great pool deck. Let's see yeah, the laundry like, room. Honestly, to me, this is super wow. important. I, I agree. This is yeah, I agree. To have a little bit, you know, to have at least some space. Yep. Aside from from the rest of the apartment. Yeah, and you're not doing your laundry in your yeah. apartment. Yeah. Yeah. Out. yeah. And then you could just hang your clothes right here right. after you're done. If you're doing the um, yeah, like for delicates. Yeah, yeah, for linens or. Yeah. And if you do have a house bed sheets, keeper, you know, they're out, out of your way. Like if you have guests, mm -hmm. they don't, you know, they're sort of separate. For sure. And you have the two full and bedrooms. Here's the second room. Yeah, okay. we can take a look. And then the den. Second is room, also it has a private bathroom inside. Mm -hmm. This is the closet space. Okay, second bedroom. But even the den has the uh, e closet. Right, yep, so it can be converted. Yeah. Yeah. Look at all this closet space. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is so nice. You can wake up and you have plenty of light. A lot of people like to have a window in the room. Mm -hmm. Okay, because they don't. Some people like to turn off the AC. I've seen I with see. a lot of Europeans. They don't like the AC, so. Mm -hmm. like There's an open window you can open, yeah. and the bathroom. Okay. Oh, this is great for like an entertainment room. Mm -hmm. yeah, entertainment room. Do you need it to be darker like this? And is that helpful for you? Um, it depends. It like depends. if it's at nighttime, then you want it to be a little bit darker so you could focus. Mm -hmm. But uh -huh. during the day, it'd be better to, uh, to have, have, have a little bit more light. Yeah. Got it. You can always add um, lighting that's overhead. For sure. Yeah. So that's you know very easy to have the electrician add in, and then this could be. A you know, a separate workspace. Mm -hmm. And the parking space is located on the fifth floor, which is great because you don't have to, you know, you don't, you're not going to take 10, 15 minutes driving inside the garage. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. That's it, it good. It starts on the third floor, the garage, and, and the parking space is located on the fifth floor. Very good. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Like, any other questions? So this is just oh. Yeah, let's see yeah. the other restroom. Is this another full bathroom? AC. Uh, this is the AC unit. Okay. And you have, there's another closet here. 
Okay. So there's more storage. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's really right. cool. Yeah. So here you have a full bathroom with Another shower closet. and then a lot of additional storage. Standing shower. Mm -hmm. Perfect. I think I'm okay. Good. Yeah, okay. we saw. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Have a great day. Bye. 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 I love this so private this foyer. Is yeah. yeah. So Honestly, what I would yeah. do here, I would remove the door. Oh, like you so can many, do that. So many buildings they have private foyer and they keep the door open, mm. so it makes it more special, yeah. Um, spacious. Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. that's an option as well. So yeah, the is fine because it's yeah. like a little yeah. closed yeah. space. Yeah. It's not right yeah. away in a living room. Mm. Yeah. So I would definitely mm. do a full length mirror so that when you're leaving, like, you yeah. can see if there's anything yeah. that you missed. Or, <laughs> yeah. 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 or just have like a little camera somewhere hiding somewhere. Right. Oh, yeah. Something yeah. like that. Like that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Or put a shoe uh, shoe rack or somewhere. Right. Yeah. 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 Or a doormat, so if it's raining. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you come in through the garage, that won't affect you, but yeah, if you come in from outside, that's true. If you're yeah. walking, you're walking. Yeah, I would live my dog. Are you considering yeah. yeah. it still or no? Um, still considering so it. I, I don't think I'll get it though. And, and here you have, um, this is the hallway. Okay, so you, you, you just exit through here and throw away the garbage. The garbage oh, the okay. Perfect. Grab an emergency door. All right. Okay, bye. okay thank you. Bye. 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 Okay. Okay, so we have to go to the elevator that is associated with this unit to be able to go back to seven. So we'll oh, go back wow. to four. Yeah. Oh, did I press one? No. Oh. Okay. See, the rest of the amenities yeah. is on that level. We're all done here. We're not done yet. <laughs> not done. Yep. So there's so many options. You can learn to sing or play an instrument and go to the recording studio if you feel like you have some spare time on your hands. Okay. So, um, yeah, so now let's go to the other side. We're going to look around and check out the gym. Okay. Yeah, we all worked up. Yeah. <laughs> Nice to meet you. Different events, so kids' really events. The pool deck on seven, this one. We had a great retro party with the rose all day. Yes. Yes. That was a great time. Oh, so, Fourth of July sounds like fun. Yeah, next question when you like how right here. Because it used to be living, right? It used to be living. Oh, wow. They have a transit uh, map, too. Yeah, it's still around. Yeah, there's a metro. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's like around downtown. Yeah, that's how I got here. Yeah. Yeah, it's only two blocks away. Yeah, 
were just chatting about the pool um, when it opened on the seventh floor. I was able to come to the party where they had a rosé all day theme. They had waitresses in retro outfits serving rosé. They had um, a DJ and a steel drummer, so there was great music. It was just such a fun party. So I know the Fourth of July party on the rooftop pool is going to be. Oh, top I know top that. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to get an invitation. Kyle said I can come. <laughs> okay. We're here for you. Love you. <laughs> Okay. So this is another guest. Yeah. The playroom. Yeah, play play Anybody in there? No, I don't think so. Yep. It's good to film. Yeah. So they have like the chalkboards they can play on. They can watch wow. movies. Wow. There's a kitchen too if yeah, they want to cook. I mean, my daughter loves it in here, and she actually sits in these little cubby holes. So oh yeah. Really fun. I think it's fun too. Yeah. Families will have the nanny come with the kids, and the parents can go work out or go to the pool. Mm -hmm. All right, and the gym is here. The most important part. Yeah, yeah. you have to be fit. Yeah, I know. <laughs> the boxing gym's right in the middle. It's so unbelievable. Heavy bag, weights. They even have the gloves for you if you don't have your arm. Like, everything's taken care of. Mm -hmm. Where's the uh, water? The water? Water machine. Oh, over there, I see it. Yeah. yeah Usually they have it by the entrance, but they put it in the back oh. there. Yep. Yeah, and there's like a little it's structure. Just, uh, they got the video in the back. They want to for yoga. Mm -hmm. So there's kind of everything. Yeah, yoga. pretty much. And I've worked out here a couple of times. I tested it out. It is <laughs> very functional, very fun gym. Nina approved. Nina approved. Nina approved. Nina, approved. Nina, approved. Nina, approved. Nina likes to work out. And I love we to work out. Yeah. We all yeah. do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. positive. Yeah. It's essential. <laughs> so let's go check out the spa. Yeah. Okay. So once you've done your workout, you can go get a massage. <laughs> to yep. take care of the salt. Totally. Thank you. We're going there now. Okay. So just a couple of details of the gym, right? There are three free classes every week for the residents. Okay. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Personal trainers. Oh. Okay. Um, yoga classes and circuit training classes. Awesome. Really wants to do it. I would love that yoga. That's great. Yes. Yeah. You have what they call great feng shui here in Chinese. Yep. Yeah. As you come in, the statues, yeah. the smell. <laughs> I don't know where this goes. Oh, that's the restroom. <laughs> We have our fan favorite massage chairs too, right? Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> really good. Oh, look at that. Some sparkling water we have. <laughs> right? Yeah. There's two jacuzzi just outside the spa. Yeah, we were just over there actually. Uh huh. Past our villas here, there's two tennis courts, which we also have a tennis instructor for if you ever want to learn how to play. Mm hmm. And that we booked through you? Yes, correct. Oh, correct. wow. Okay. Boxing coaches, personal trainers, plenty, along with some services. Oh, you make mm -hmm. that easy. Yes. yes. Yeah. And if we want to book massages or other treatments, can we do that for you? Also, for me, my desk has a QR code with our spa menu, mm -hmm. with our contact info too. Feel free to reach out. Okay. Wow. I'll show you the sauna we have here. It's a bar for our dry sauna. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We lost like 10 pounds. Good. No summer, but just the dress on. Yeah. I was talking about massage here, but that was not okay. I know. Yeah, that's good. Good seeing you, Mac. Good to see you. There it is. The music in there. It's pretty hot. It's thorough. It does the job. And it also has the infrared, right? Yes. Which is good, I know, for building collagen, anti aging. 
very, very intense detoxification. Oh, detoxification. Massage okay. room. Mm -hmm. I probably need that with all the wine I drink, so yeah, I probably need to get it. <laughs> yeah, definitely good. Here's our couple's massage room. Oh my gosh, Where gorgeous. we get massages, facials. We also have table stretching here. Okay. We got a big, strong instructor that can give you a full body stretch. Mm -hmm. There's right now. <laughs> so it's available cool. right now. <laughs> like we're, we're probably gonna end. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Three, four, five, I feel the heat through here. Yeah. Oh yes. Feels like the amenities in this building will never end. Yeah. Well, they weren't. Yeah. That's what I was saying, like, the most amenities. Yeah. Yeah? And it was North America, it's the world. I think so. That's what they're trying to live up to, yeah. Gosh. Yeah. Unbelievable. And this, so this area is Miami only... Now that, you know? I know. It's so great. I'm the only residents in Miami with a soccer field outside. We have classes out there. Yeah. Yeah, so much, so much stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you've seen the rest of 7th floor with the cinema and really? the coffee bar. We have, kind of hasn't yet. We no, not pool, yet. So we're going to go check that out. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. You have big health. Appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. All right. Everything's uh, fob controlled. Safe and fob controlled. Mm -hmm. Okay. So for sports enthusiasts, you can have three games on at once. Look at that. You have billiards, shuffleboard, a bar area. So if you do want to entertain and have a bartender or just set up drinks yourself, you can do that. Food. Table, but it actually, um, oh my gosh. Yeah, it comes over as, as a game table too for mm -hmm. us to just be flat. And you have all the board games. Yeah, the retro board games, which is awesome. Mm -hmm. And then a golf simulator. So you can see why I call a it the golf, man cave, right? A golf simulator. Is it not the man yes, cave? Yes, <laughs> totally is. So that's in this section. Oh, it's out of service right now. Or it's, oh, it is out of service. Yeah. Right. I've seen it you know, mm -hmm. being used, so it definitely is functional cool. and fun. And then this will lead to the, you know, the pool deck. And you have, you know, a man cave. It still wouldn't be probably as big and well equipped and incredible as this. So mm -hmm. this is like living like a billionaire. Totally. And not at a billionaire budget. So it's incredible. So the first unit we saw is offered at 999000 The second one we saw, which is the two bedroom plus den, so larger, is at $1.3 million. So very affordable for everything that you get for the square footage mm -hmm. in such a new building. Completely. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's next? Look at this. Oh wow, and you and you pay it with the with the machine here. Yeah. Look at this. Self serving and this open all the time. Yeah. Seven eleven, right in the building. So it's kind of like a city within the city. Okay. <laughs> and this is the art installation, the Misha Life. Oh, this is the art installation around us. But over here, there's more. Mm -hmm. 
right here. Wow, look at this. <laughs> I think you might need coffee after walking through this whole building and yeah, seeing everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So this is one of the other lounges you were asking about that. This is another very la large lounge area. Mm -hmm. If you want to book it for a private event, you can do so as well, or you can just come and hang out. Mm -hmm. And this area has a, a couple of different functions. One, if you want to come all the way around, you'll see that it's actually a screening room. So if, yeah. you, if you wanted to watch the Super Bowl with some friends or have a movie night mm -hmm. or a really romantic date and put on a romantic movie, bring some wine down, you don't even have to leave your building and you would impress the heck out of any date without yeah. question. So that's um, an option here. You, there's also been like meetings and presentations. Mm -hmm. um, so if you do have work meetings and again, you want to do something not boardroom style, but still very impressive, you can use this space. Yeah. And totally. then just next to it, there is recording studio that I was mentioning, uh -huh. which is fully functional. I um, haven't tried this one out because I don't actually sing or play any instruments, but Look I have at been that. advised that musicians have used it and it works really well. So, mm -hmm. so much to do. You can sing to your heart's content here and no one will hear you. My daughter. <laughs> my daughter's a great singer. I would not try. <laughs> not, not in my wheelhouse. So those are all of the main amenities. Then on the lower level there is um, the half court basketball and a trampoline area. That's not as often used, but that is part of the full package. So. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, you know? Mm-hmm. We have to leave something for uh, people yeah, to see in right. person, yeah, right? Yeah. People who are interested yeah. in that we can show. That we can show people. Can right. show. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. I know, the like so hour know. and a half at least. Yeah. yeah. And the fact that like it's in the middle of Miami, it's mm -hmm. easy. It's like yeah. ten minutes drive to the airport. I know. In fact, this is almost out of battery. <laughs> it's so <laughs> funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's gonna end soon. It's blinking red. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's time to go. <laughs> yeah. I think we've done a great job. Yeah. 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 I'll leave um I'll leave your contact information in the video description yeah. below. Go yeah. check them out. Any clients that are interested, we are more than happy to yeah. talk to you about this Buy, building sell, or, bands, or any of the buildings in Miami. Mm -hmm. We know them all. Yeah. So. yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Bye. Bye.